So over the years, I've had many annoying people tell me, you just change your addiction from drugs to an addiction to your religion. So let me break it down for you. When you do drugs, a substance like cocaine, for instance, it goes in your nose to the brain, affects the dopamine in your brain, comes down through your body and makes you feel this euphoria or this pleasure and this high. That's a natural way to, to get high or feel pleasure or euphoria like that. There's a supernatural way that you can feel that euphoria and that high and that pleasure. And that comes from the spirit. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard. No mind has conceived the wonderful things that God has prepared for us or prepared for humans. Um, now, people would say, like, why do you believe the Bible? Why do you believe that? Why would you believe some words written by men uh, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years ago? It's because the next verse. The next verse says, but God has revealed it and unveiled it to us by his spirit. So... You don't have to wait till you die to see if this is real. That's the point here. That's why I've been walking in this for 14 years plus. You know, it's like I felt that. You know, I was doing lines. I was doing pills. I was doing every drug you could think of and alcohol and you name it. And I was looking for this euphoria, this thing from, you know, to escape, to, to, to I want more. I want to, I want to enjoy life. I want... It just seemed like, you know, I made it to the top of the music business and it was like, this is it. It didn't bring me that euphoria. So I wanted it more. I wanted it through the drugs. And, and uh, you know, once I got a hold of this supernatural spirit, this Holy Spirit is a person, but, you know, the, the substance that comes from him as he comes inside of you and pours into you is love, is divine love, is pure light. How many people have you heard that have had near-death experiences or whatever, or died and came back that they saw light? Well, that's why Christ says in the Bible, it's just like he's the light of the world. He's the light because that's the light, you know? And so he pours light into you and you can feel the glory of God in your soul, deep within the deepest part of who you are, the core of the person of who you are. That's where the pleasure goes. And like the like the uh the cocaine will go to the brain affect the dopamine go through the body well the glory and substance of of god's spirit goes into the deepest part of you the heart the soul the spirit and and starts there and then and then bubbles up and goes throughout your body where you can feel the sensation in your mind it's like this it's like god takes over your mind and you feel this peace that surpasses all understanding you feel this euphoria and this pleasure man and it doesn't happen to everybody the same it doesn't happen um you know no two people are the same so and it doesn't happen every day either but now uh, after 14 years of me just working on this uh relationship and opening my heart and just believing you know I, you start by believing and then you start experiencing but the glory of god is better than any drug the euphoria is higher than any ecstasy or coke or meth you could take or alcohol you could drink. It's so pure and it makes you really, man, it kind of makes you feel like a child again. It's like we all are, are born into this world as babies and then we're kids. And remember that magical feeling when you're a kid where, you know, the good times, I mean, I know a lot of us have, have had bad times, but just that, that feeling of trust and that imagination realm where you can just play with toys forever and ever. Well, it's kind of similar to that when you come to God and you give him your life. It's like you get to become a child again, you know? And of course you're an adult doing, you know, big boy things in life, but uh, but you, be, you become a child again. You just like trust God with everything. And uh, the only reason why he'll take things away from you or let you go through uh, painful things is because he wants to replace all of that fear that comes when you go through those things with the substance of faith. And when you get the substance of faith or the gift of faith, you get the substance of his glory inside of your life. You get the substance of the supernatural euphoria given by the spirit. So anyway, it was just on my mind. People ask me that all the time. So this is a real thing, man. It's not religion. It's relationship and experience of union with God. Man comes together 
with God and starts to feel the supernatural euphoria, pleasure, and love from another realm like you've never, ever experienced love before. Anyway, peace. See you on the road.